Hello everyone, this is Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo for SCAA News. This is April 10th, which marks the day that our very own Cloud Imperial Games will be, well, revealing, I was about ready to say releasing, but revealing the dogfighting module, just one of the many modules that we're going to be seeing coming out this year. This one is going to become the flight simulation piece of the game later on in the um, release of the game. Um, what I mean by that is there's going to be some kind of arena system we're going to be able to m face off against each other and, uh, you know, kill each other without losing our ships. So this is the part of the game that was promised to us by the end of 2013. Now, when that was first made a promise, there was by no means any way that Chris Roberts and his crew thought that they would have surpassed $30 million. Um, so when they looked at that, the dogfighting module originally was supposed to be something to drum up more interest into the game and something they could work out over time. And what's going on now, well, what happened back in December, or I should say November, was that they made a decision. It no longer needed to be a piece to help drum up business, drum up more cash. They had the revenue that they needed to make the game. So they decided that instead of releasing a dogfighting module that was going to be, well, not broken, but half done or not up to par with what Chris wanted to do, they decided that instead they were going to well, take a few months and work on it and release the actual dogfighting module that was going to be in the game instead of something that had to be repaired and reworked and redone over and over again. So tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time in Boston, Massachusetts at PAX East, we are going to see a live stream by Cloud Imperium Games where they are going to be bringing us the, well, they're going to be bringing us the nearly completed dogfighting module. Now, do bear in mind that this by no means means that it's going to be released to us anytime soon. It might be a few days, a week, a month before they get it t tweaked enough for us to begin playing. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. They've had more than enough time. I'm hoping that the surprise is that they've gotten it so far that this Friday we are going to be seeing that um, dogfighting module released to us. Now, I hope, I pray that they just hold off to the end of the month so I could get my X-55 HOTUS from Satex. I can't wait to take all of you on. And now just a couple of house cleaning items before I move on to just a couple of things in the news. The organization that supports Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous, the Enablers, had a contest to come up with their new tagline. That was won by Eris, and Eris is also the webmistress for the for for the um, Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous and the Enablers websites, and she's been very helpful with a lot of things I need with the show. So the winning tagline was "Add a star per amica," which is to the stars through friendship, and although I liked ones that were like, "Come on, not one, not." Come on, just one more ship, or where one ship is never enough. I think this one actually gets the basis of this particular organization. Um, it, it really calls out to what they're about. Now, just to go on from here, just for one second, this is by no means ever going to be a um, one-sided, one-organization piece of the show. If you have an org and you want me to make announcements, this is going to be non-biased. I will make announcements for any organization out there. And please, if you do want to make announcements, if you have recruiting drives, if you have events, send them into the show at Nikki Batgirl, D sorry, at Nikki D'Angelo at iCloud.com, and I'll get them on the show. With that said, Ruben from the Icarus Group has announced that they are going to be holding another contest. And in this one, they are definitely 100% going to be giving away the interest that was promised in the last two. Now, because of some discrepancies in the way that the last two contests ran, and because they didn't meet the financial goals of the contest, there was lot. There were lots of prizes handed out, but the grand prize, the Icarus, was held on to. 
So this one is going to commence on May 10th, and I believe that's the anniversary of the Icarus Group. I could be wrong, but that's going to go along with the launch of a new website. They have a new logo, and they're going to have $1,765 worth of prizes. Everything from as small as gift cards all the way up to the interest. There'll be some other ship packages in there, too. So stay tuned. I'll have some more information on this as time goes on. And now an update on the fundraiser for Ruckus's uh, wife who has been diagnosed with non-alcoholic liver disease. Thanks to a lot of help from those of you here and in other places. She is going to be having her surgery later this month and I wish her all the best and Godspeed. I hope everything comes out well. Hope you have a healthy recovery. You have a beautiful family. And I'm glad that the groups here, not just uh, SCAA, but everyone that has helped you out got you to this point. So I don't want to get too deep into news today because it's going to be overshadowed by what happens tonight. So I'm picking one thing out that really makes sense to talk about now. When Star Citizen was first announced, there were a certain set number of alpha slots. The alpha slots were determined by the amount of money that they thought they were going to have in the budget or funds available to build the, out the service structure that was going to be needed to have a dogfighting module in the alpha stage. As time went on, they started to surpass any goal that they had at the beginning of the fundraiser or the crowdfunding campaign. So what has happened is that they've added another 10,000 or so alpha slots over over time. As of today, there's only 2,400 uh, alpha slots left. And that means a lot to people because the dogfighting module is going to be out within the next month. Hopefully it's out this week or next week, but it's going to be out in the next month. Those, dog, those alpha slots are going to be gone. So what does that mean for you? If you own a ship package and get into the hangar, does that mean that you can get into the dogfighting module not entirely, not entirely. What's going to happen is that if you have an alpha slot, it has a character slot with it. It's not just a ship packet, a ship, but it's the ship packages that include a character slot, some form of insurance, whether it be three, six, eight, twelve, or maybe LTI if you got it early enough, and some other pieces of you know the game. If you have an alpha slot, which I think is everything from mercenary and above you are going to be able to get into the dogfighting module. Say you have bought a retaliator, a gladiator, and a constellation, and you get into and you have an alpha slot, but you don't have one of the single seat dogfighters to play the game. Well, they're going to give you a loaner. I think it's a Hornet or one of the other ships. And that is going to be how you are going to be able to get into the game. So if you own a Hornet, Aurora, 300i, Scythe, um, I'm sure that's one that I'm forgetting, Avenger, you're going to be able to play the dogfighting module. I'm not entirely sure if all of those fighters are going to be available day one. Right now, I can confirm that the Hornet and Scythe are going to be ready and the 300i. I'm not so sure about the Aurora and the Avenger. We'll just have to wait and see. So they released an FAQ. Go out and read it. It's in the link and well, in the com link over on their website and in the link down below in the video. Later on today, so we're going to skip over the alpha slots, I'm going to be doing a live stream on Nikki65 on Twitch, and I'm going to be talking about my impression of what they're showing us in the live stream. That's all I got for you guys. I will talk to you all very soon. You have a great day, and be safe out there. Hi, my name is Falco and I'm an addict. I started with the $250 Rear Admiral package back during the initial pledge drive. I never spent that much on Kickstarters or games in general, at least not all at once. So this was a big deal for me. I didn't just do it on a whim. I thought to myself, if there's a developer I have more faith in, it's Chris Roberts and company. If I had to name a series of games I most enjoyed growing up, it'd be Wing Commander. So it all just made sense. I didn't feel bad about going for broke and snagging me a constellation. So six months went by with me thinking I'm set and ready to be all GQ in the game with my Connie. But upon loitering around the site again, 
and appeared that everyone else, their aunt, uncle, mother, fifth cousin, twice removed, and their dog, did exactly the same thing. That's a lot of Connies. So I'm keeping my Connie because I genuinely love the ship, but it also fueled me a little bit to find an alternative ship for when the universe is being dominated by constellations. Since feeling this way, I've also snagged a Retaliator and an Avenger. Now I realize these ships are also very popular, but there's only so much we can do pre-release. It's probably a silly thing for me to want something different just for the sake of being different too, but I can't help it. That's currently where I stand. Constellation, Retaliator, Avenger. I'm not nearly in as deep as some, but hey, it's still a lot of dough. I feel like I'll probably be able to do just about everything I want to do in the game upon release. In just one of these three ships at least. So again, I feel like I'm set. However, we still have the potential sales of the Origin 890 Jump, Anvil Carrick, Age of Surveyor, Drake Carroll, Miss Cole C, and the RSI Orion ahead of us too. So, never say never. And if I do end up itching to buy one of those, I'm going to need one of you guys or gals to be my sponsor and talk me down. Welcome back, back to another, another episode of Dark, Dark Citizen, Citizen Addicts Anonymous. Anonymous. Today, I, I am going to keep after all the intro. Well, this is Welcome episode aboard, 32. Hey, we hey everybody. Evolved. What's up, Nikki? How we you doing? We being the show. Great. So, I mean, I 